read another really short one. This is called Let's See What You've Got. I've never met a female to male transsexual before. <coughs> yes, of course, I get this all the time from gay men. But this particular gay man had just spent the last, last 15 years living in San Francisco. If a gay man lives in San Francisco for 15 years and has never met a female to male transsexual person, I can only assume that he spent those 15 years A, incarcerated, <laughs> B, homebound, or C, in a hut on the far side of Alcatraz Island. <laughs> Almost every major urban center in the United States is teeming with trans men. If we don't live there already, we often migrate there in search of a more welcoming community, better access to health care and other resources, and a larger trans population with which to connect. San Francisco, with its rainbow flags down Market Street and its Anything Goes Castro District, is particularly attractive, especially for gay trans men. In reality, my fine gay friend from San Francisco, who apparently hadn't come to Denver, Colorado to actually meet a trans man, has probably met many of them throughout his decade and a half in the city by the bay. He just doesn't know it. Thanks to the incredible te transformative power of testosterone, trans men rarely have to come out publicly, unless we choose to. And we are hardly ever read as trans, even if someone is looking extra hard. The invisibility is great for someone who is trying to quietly assimilate into mainstream culture, but it can lead to a lot of misunderstandings, unpleasantness, and even downright nastiness if the guy is simply trying to get a date or a trip for the night. A non-trans gay man can, quick, can quickly turn ugly when he picks up a guy and then finds out later that his cute trick doesn't have the expected equipment, no matter how hot the guy is overall. This particular predicament is cause for ongoing discussion in trans man's face. When exactly do you come out to your potential partner or one night stand? I always advocate for the sooner the better, the sooner the better approach, primarily for safety reasons. I have no desire to be in a strange apartment in a strange neighborhood with a strange and maybe rather large and burly guy who suddenly feels that I have betrayed him by not intimately discussing my physical configuration beforehand. It's true that I might get rejected and left standing at the bar with only my beer for company, but I'll take that chance a lot faster than I'll take a chance with my physical safety. The guys who feel as if they don't need to go into a tell-all confession prior to a little play have a very good point, however. How many non-trans guys honestly share their, their stats before leaving a bar or party with someone? I'm not talking about all those nine-inch hunks who only seem to exist on the pages of the personals. I'm talking about real guys who hook up in real circumstances. Unless you both strip down right where you are and show each other all the goods, there might be any number of things about your trick that will disappoint you, and vice versa. These things don't come with a written guarantee. So while I'm all for safety, mostly mine, I also understand the desire for privacy and anonymity, along with the person's right to possess the body he has without explanation or disclaimers. We're out there, you've met us, whether you know it or not. And we're not trying to fool you. We're just being ourselves, looking for the same thing that you are. So, let's see what you got. Woo! 